Well, kia ora and good morning to you. And this is Mount Smart Stadium number two. And welcome to a double header of Rugby League here today. And uh, it's a pleasure to bring you this special game to start with this Counties Monaco Ethnic League match between the Nui Rugby League team and the Asian Dragons, which is players made up of uh, Asian heritage. And uh, we've got uh, all uh, the Nui supporters coming in to support their team as well here at Mount Smart Stadium today. So, Morena, Glenn Lama's my name, Warangi Kopu with me, the uh, ex NRL player of the Warriors in the Melbourne Storm. And uh, Warangi, good to have you here. Should be a cracking match this one, shouldn't it? Yeah, we're Glenn. We're going to have a good time. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a fairly nice day here in Tami Kamakoto, and I'm looking forward to this game because there's a lot of uh, potential up-and-coming uh, rugby league players within both of these sides. And um, like you said, there is a, they're a collective. Both teams have come from sort of far and wide to... Uh, to make up these teams and, and put on a good show here today. Hopefully the weather will hold off. It is a little gloomy in parts around uh, Tamaki Makoto today, but uh, we are going to have some good rugby league anyway. OK, so let's have a look at the teams. Here is the new air team, and there's a few players come over from Australia for this game, including Justice Utatayo, number one. He plays for the Redcliffe Dolphins, and a couple of other players coming over too are uh, Venesio Tanga Fatuawa Tawa Patuki Case, number 12. He's a Sydney Roosters SG ball player and has been playing Juicy Flegg as well and uh, an another player coming over from Australia too is Junior Fasatoa Papani number 14 other than that pretty much the other players are all Fox Memorial players in Auckland and uh, talking to us today one of the co-coaches is Ben Lesipa Tully have only had uh, three weeks together but how's the preparation been over the last couple of weeks? Oh uh, yeah uh, it's been good uh, way um, we went into a mini camp of uh, the last couple of days uh, but prep has been really good. We had a three boys fly in from Australia. Uh, yeah, just just looking forward to the game now. Really, you got a, a real young squad. Is it's, it's, I mean, I, I know you guys are building towards sort of World Cup, um, that sort of stuff. But um, but it's an exciting time for for New Era Rugby League. Yes, it is an exciting time. Um, we got a fairly young squad. I think the oldest player. We got a couple of them. Our cap, our two captains. Um, both 26, the rest uh, all under 25. So, yeah, exciting times for a new rugby league. That's a big commitment. Like you said, some of them are paid for themselves to come over and, and, and join the squad and play in this game. Yes, it's massive. We've got, we got a couple of boys, um, one from the Dolphins um, and then a couple, uh, one from Cronulla and then the other one just signed with Canberra. So they're, they're just coming through the systems over there. So, yeah, big ups to them for um, flying over and representing their nation. Good luck to you today, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's very cool. Ben Lasipa, who's, of course, co-coaching this team with Bernie Peranara, and they both coach the Mangari East Hawks this year. Here is the Asian Dragons team and a lot of Auckland-based players. There is a couple of players from Hamilton in the team as well, but basically these are all up-and-coming players of Asian heritage, and there's Japanese, Thai, we've got Korean, Chinese, Malaysian, Filipino. It's really cool to see a team come together like this and uh, coached by Tony Shung. Tony, how's the preparation been for this week's game? I know you guys are doing a bit of travelling around the country, right? Yeah, um, preparation has been uh, pretty good. Uh, we had uh, like guys all over the place, some from uh, Hamilton. Uh, they drive like a couple hours just for training, but preparation has been uh, really good. Yeah. yeah, like you said, you've got a, a collective of, of different men uh, who have come together to play in this Asian Dragon side, yeah. but where have they mostly come from? Uh, they're mo ma uh, mainly based in Auckland, but their heritage, their... They got some. We got some Thai boys. Uh, we got some Filipino boys. Majority, uh, surprisingly, is Japanese. Uh, we got a couple of Chinese, Hong Kong, and uh, even some uh, Vietnamese and Cambodian in there. So we got all sorts of Asians in there. What style of football might we see today? Oh, so, um, we're hoping to bring something like um, quite um, creative today because of our disadvantage with our size. So. Hopefully you guys see something, if we stick to the game plan, something new and creative. Good luck out there, Coach. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Tony Shung. That's a nice little tantalising comment that he's made there. So all of these players, all can base players, except for AJ Morrison, number 10 in the Asian Dragons team. He's uh, come up from Hamilton to play this game. And uh, they will be the team in the, on the right of screen there, Nui, in the yellow. Some good players in the Nui team, some up-and-coming players, as uh, co-coach Ben Lesipa mentioned. Looking forward to seeing Siapo Paseni, uh, Pasesi up there again. He played for the Point Chef Pirates. Real uh, 
Live wire winger. Eddie Pailiku played a couple of games for Point Chev as well. We've got an ex Junior Warriors player in the new A team as well. Casey Lafaele. He's uh, playing at lock in this game. Dukes Kauhiva is in there too. We remember him playing for Maris this season and also from the New Zealand 20s competition the last two years. Why? So there's a sprinkling of uh, pretty interesting players in the new A team too. Yeah, despite how young they are, there is a lot of experience within that new A side. Uh, and probably the same can be said for the Asian Dragons. So I'm looking forward to sort of seeing how this eventuates uh, between these two teams. Obviously, you know, they're new combinations, haven't played before, and uh, a lot of pride um, in the jersey, especially the new inside. And you can see that from uh, the people that have turned out here today to watch their team play. So, um, yeah, that's no, a, a fantastic opportunity. And the new inside now, they'll, they'll line up for uh, their, their haka. It's called um, Komotolone. That sets the tone for the game, no doubt about that. And uh, led beautifully by Eddie Pailiki, as the captain of the Nui team. A couple of games for Point Chev this year, ex Manly Sea Eagles under 20s player as well. So, uh, this Nui team, good to see them playing here. Of course, we've got the Nui women's team. Just trying to think back, did they play it on Mount Smart last year? I think they might have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about a year ago we, yeah. we did a couple of uh, we did a double header there with New Zealand playing Fetu Samoa. Nui play Tonga and the yeah. curtain raiser. So good to see the men's team here together and what a great story to hear that a two or three of them have paid their own way over from Australia to play for their country today. Yeah, fantastic. And I mean you know, speaking to a lot of their, their coaching staff uh, this morning as I turned up to Mount Smart Stadium, you know, they're, they're really starting to build towards something. You know, they're, they're, they're gathering a collective of, of players now that are sprinkled throughout different competitions throughout New Zealand and Australia and even the NRL. So, you know, they're really working towards something. So here we go. Kicking off here are the Asian Dragons up against Nui in this game. Part of a double header today at Mount Smart. Number two, thank you for joining us. Later on, we're going to have that... Uh, Season's opener in the NZL Premiership between Councils Monaco and Akarana. As here comes Pailiki, the captain, straight into his work. And he's taken on the 30, so a good carry first up. As we see Nui throw themselves into this defence. Good tackle coming in that time from Chong Kiri. Nice shift of the ball here. One thing we'll notice through the game is that the Asian Dragons teams, their numbers don't correspond to their position, so we'll do our very best to get through that for you. And there's a big tackle right there on Duang Chang. Yeah, While well, you mentioned about setting the tone of the captain right off the kickoff, off the back fence, and he said it for New just unfortunate, a, a little error there. The Asian Dragons come up with the ball, but 
They've set their intentions early. Tokudu, he is the captain of the Asian Dragons team. And now, here's a good little ship, but referee's going to rule a slight error there, and it's going to be a new scrum. They look pretty good there, the Asian Dragons on their first set. So the new team are going to have a scrum about 20, 30 metres out from their own line here. Just a little lack of depth and, and timing. It's something I suppose that uh, they might might come together over the next few minutes throughout this game. They've never really played before. It's a little bit tough to find combinations and, and yeah, the like. A few of the Asian Dragons players are new to rugby league as well, having switched over from rugby. So we'll see how they adapt. Of course, everything's changed with tackling technique and everything like that. As we see Timor Williams slot into two. Dummy half, there's a good tackle. That's AJ Morrison, the player who's come up from Hamilton for this game. A little nip out of dummy half from Williams. He's lost the ball. And the Asian Dragons have got the ball on the halfway now. Nice turnover for them, Wade. Yeah, just a little, little excited. I mean, both these teams, are just you know, one of them needs to settle down a little bit. Because at the moment, they're playing at great next speed. And, you know, unfortunately, they haven't completed a set yet. No, they haven't. Taken strongly, wearing 13 as the captain for the Dragons. He's actually playing a prop in this game. Former Auckland B rugby union player is Takuda. Tiong Kiri. And at dummy half is Sai City, wearing six. Good line speed from Nui. Come up nice and flat there, fast. Putting a bit of pressure on the ball carrier. Here's the last play, and that touch finder is going to have the Dragons about 12 metres out. Yeah, they'll build a little bit of confidence there, which weathered, weathered a bit of this new air defensive storm that they have at the moment. This is where the Asian Dragons want to be. So this set will start 12 metres out from the line. The tackle coming in from Morrison. He looks like a workman-like back rower. He'll tackle all day. Here's a nice little burst on the outside by Mike Williams. Good carry. Very strong carry from Mike Williams. Plays for Ponsonby in the Fox Memorial. Ex-Burley Bears player from Queensland. And now Nui really starting to make big metres up the field on this set. Thanks to Williams, he's got them really humming nicely. That's Kauhiva, nice little inside ball that time to Tanuvasa. So he's going to set it up about 25 out from the line. Williams. There's a good run there, only 10 out now, Nui. On the last play, Williams waits at dummy half. And they're keeping it on the short side here. And there's a gap. And there is the score. New eight, wonderful set. And going in is Siapo Pasene from the Point Chef Pirates. And there it is, the score, 4 to nil. Yeah, all the momentum with New eight there in that set. Asian Dragons just backpedaling through pretty much 80 metres, actually 90 metres throughout that set. But it was all set up by a fantastic run down the right side. They took their opportunities in New eight side. Saw where the space was. It was a very compressed line from the Asian Dragons. They got them into this position, but nice little short side play on the last tackle. Just not enough numbers there for the Asian Dragons. And like I say, they were backpedaling. It's very hard to defend when you're stuck on your line. Yeah, well, Passini, an unlucky player, basically played the whole season for Point Chef in the in the Fox Morton. He was squeezed out of the starting 13. Just uh, too many good players in the Point Chef team for that uh, Fox Memorial final, but came off the bench and had a terrific impact in that game against Glenora. What a cracking uh, Fox Memorial final that was yeah. this year. Yeah, one of the best finals I've seen in a long time. Nothing in it between those two teams, and uh, the good news is, folks, is we're going to see most of those players, or the best from both of those teams, combining into the Akarana team for 2022 for the NZRL Premiership, and of course they're coming up today as I touched on against Counties Monaco. 
It's a very strong knockout on the side. Isn't it? Very much so. See, here's Justice Utatau. He is 23 years of age, plays out of the Redcliffe Dolphins, and actually is, uh, has played test football prior to this game for Nui. He was a member of the 2018 Emerging Nations World Cup team that lost to Malta in the final. And he's not able to convert that try. So four points to nil. Nui over the Asian Dragons. I suppose a lot of these players are as well. We've blown out some cobwebs here on the first 20 minutes of this game. Haven't played any football for a couple of weeks. So. Yeah, that's always uh, always a challenge for players, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're not that motivated to keep training after a, a final series. And... Yeah, but that's what you've got to do if you want to play good rep football. Indeed. So let's see how the Asian Dragons respond to that first try from Pasini. Here comes Pailiki again, throwing himself in there and busting through a couple of tackles as well. So Williams at dummy half again. He was the Ponsonby Player of the Year in their team in the Fox Memorial this year. And here's Utatau, the fullback, taking the, the carry. And Williams sensing metres to be made from that quick play the ball. He collects 10 metres. He's on the halfway line. Nice cutout pass to the winger on the far side. That is Naitoko. Tackle. Naitoko who played for the Auckland Blue team in the New Zealand Under-20s competition in 2021. An exciting young winger. He's getting his opportunity in this game. Nice for Otahu. Now Williams at dummy half again. He's heading out to Naitoko again. Giving him one to chase. And I think... Wow, did he get the try? No, the touch has put his flag up. <laughs> it looked impressive. It looked impressive. An enterprising play down that short side fifth tackle option. They were still getting back on side, the Asian Dragons, but a nice little kick through there by Williams. Now, oh, Williams, if the bounce had just been, just bounced up from just a touch more, this bounce here, boom, it could have easily fallen into Williams' hands for the try to be uh, scored. But there's no Toka running out of space. Yeah, Daniel Caddy on that far side. He was onto it. He could see the feet on the ground. So good call. Touchies. 100%. Ooh. Ooh, that is some solid defense. Pailiki and Patu Ki Case absolutely smashing the winger. But he's bounced up. No problem at all. Takuda. Sai City. Now wearing 18, playing at lock in this game is Tonga Yuaki. And the Dragons get to the end of their set. And there goes the kick from Mararoa, who's playing at standoff. Wearing 12 on his back. Here's Utatau. Solidly built fullback, isn't he? I think he's wider than he is taller. Yeah, he's nuggety. Gives me those last or higher <laughs> type of vibes. Here's Naitoko with that carry. He's well wrapped up this time by those central defenders. Here's a big burst from dummy half. Is that Williams again? There's no fullback. There's Williams going for the try. Matt Williams, or Mike Williams rather, in to score. Really good try there. We've already seen him make two huge runs in this game. It's 8-0. Yeah. Fantastic awareness there by the vice-captain, Mike Williams. He recognised that. There was only one marker, and the big boy in front of him was had no no pace compared to to this fast centre. We've always seen make some big meters down the right side. Here he is again, quickly out of dummy half. Recognises the space. And was still struggling to get back on side. The Asian Dragons just one to beat, which was the full back, and fortunate, fortunately, just couldn't make that tackle and had the pace in the end to go all the way. Yeah, big powerful ball runner, isn't he, Mike Williams? And uh, valiant attempt there by Xiong Kiri. Your Tahu Leopards player. To catch him, but not to be. So two tries in the first 10 minutes to Pasine and Williams. And a more comfortable conversion attempt coming up here for 
Uta Tao. At the moment, it's just the speed of the play, the ball, mm. and the wrestle, really, that the Asian Dragons are, are struggling with. Well, obviously, the, the power and the running is one thing that you have to contain first before you can actually wrestle. But because of it, the, the uh, line speed retreat is, is really struggling, which means that they're on the back foot throughout the entire set. You know, Tao is, uh, has missed the conversion. So eight points to nil, the score remains. Mike Williams there just shooting himself out to make another run. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't uh, count that out in this game. If I was the Asian Dragons, I would not be kicking to back Mike. to the captain. Paialiki. Paialiki. Where is he standing? Oh, there he is. He's standing left to the uprise where he was before. Some of these players are going to have nightmares on this return. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I think the ball's going straight to him again. Yes, it is. <laughs> Kalhiva takes the catch, and here he comes again, Pailiki. He, he was a bit kind of that time. <laughs> he was. Here's Williams. Ooh, good contact. Yeah, very good contact there for Tanuvasa. There goes Timor Williams again. It's a lively... Dummy half. Now, what's the referee going to sort out there? He's going to rule a strip. Anthony Elliott is the referee for this game today. And that looked like a pretty straightforward decision for him to make. It's Kalhiva. He's just going to take the tap for his team. Proud moment for him. We saw him really getting fired up in the Hucker pre-match. Really cool to see. Good young player, Dukes Kalhiva. No doubt about it. Was that forward pass? Yes, it was. So that's good pressure from the Asian Dragons there. You just got the timing wrong a little bit there, Nui. You can see what they're aiming at because there is space in behind those two markers. It was good awareness. Good awareness there from their captain. Yeah, he's Takuda. showing out. He's showing out okay, isn't he, Takuda? Playing a prop, but uh, got 13 on his back in this game. It's going to be necessary that... Asian Dragons and putting some pressure on those dummy halves, getting out and chopping down those those ball runners from dummy half. Mararoa, some pretty fierce defence of him on him again. And here goes Takuda. He's not shirking the uh, responsibility of being the a big, big strong ball carrier. Here's the back row, Chiong Kiri. Another player of Thai heritage in this team. There are quite a few in this team. As Nuria takes it up. Shun Nuria. Big shift set up out here. Yeah, let's see if they can get through the hands here. They're going to keep it tight for the meantime. There's Miyuaki on the 30. Last play now for the Dragons. Here goes the kick from Mararoa. Has he overcooked this kick? He has just a touch. Not much in a very skinny in goal areas here on the number two ground. They are only about five metres long. If so you've got to be yeah, super accurate with your yeah. kicks, White. Yeah, I think I think they're about three, to be honest. <laughs> but yes, the those those I mean that's probably a better option than putting it along the ground. It was gonna be tough to judge the weight of a of a grubber kick into the end goal here. Oh here's New Air looking very powerful again. There's Pasini. Got the first try. Here's Kalhiva at dummy half. It's better line speed by the Asian yes. Dragons. And then I think they've recognised the need that they have to get up there and stop the newer players from really getting momentum. There's a big, strong carry that time from Patuki Casey's at the Sydney Roosters. Young player coming through the system. Here's Timor Williams. Shrugging off tacklers, getting close now. Williams, how many tackle busts is that? About six in that run. Newer, Lafaele at dummy half. Asian Dragons do really well to stop the offload, but unfortunately, there's a penalty going against them. Yeah, just all offside. I'll tell you what, the, uh, AJ Morrison for the Asian Dragons, he's got a fantastic tackle technique. He, he, he went off for a stint because he must have cut himself. He's come back on with a little bit of bandage, but he has got 
Fantastic tackling technique. Pailiki, tackled by Takamasa. Slow play the ball too. Asian Dragons will have their defensive line set here. See if Newey can poke their nose through the hole here. There's the offload. The knock on though. Third try was right there. It wasn't able to be scored. What well, was on? It was a fairly safe offload there. Just needed to be caught. But it was the first tackle, so maybe a little unnecessary. Could have set themselves up a little bit more. Nice little show and go. Went through the gap. There was plenty of numbers on the right side. Just needed to get there. Probably should have. Really needed to catch that ball. Which was the case. There's Chavez Watts. Nikatule poking his nose through. Play for Tiaratu in the Fox Memorial this year. So uh, it's a touch on most of these new air players in the Fox Memorial Premier teams for their clubs. A tough uh, first 17, 18 minutes for the Asian Dragons, but there's plenty of courage in these players. They'll keep playing till the bitter end of this game. Oh, yeah, yeah it was high, didn't it? So very fair Elliot is going to give the Dragons a penalty. That'd be very welcome as well for the Asian Dragons. It was a tough set, trying to get them out of their own in goal, their own area. So piggy, piggyback them into New Year's half. Yeah, so but even though the Warriors have finished in the NRL and all the club competitions have finished around, there's still plenty of league to come, of course, over the next month with the NZRL Premiership and the playoffs, of course, in the NRL. Yeah, that Panther side. Too good for Eels last looks, night, weren't they? Looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take a very good team to beat the Panthers this year. Now, here come the Dragons again. Koki Takuda, I like him. He's playing tough. Nice little dab on the short side by Sasiri. Now, Ongaria. And Hof, he's out there now. Charlie Onadera. And another penalty. Offside play by Nui. Just a little bit quick off the mark. It's great communication. You can hear it from the commentary box and how much the new air inside are talking on D, wanting to get up in the Asian Dragons' face as quick as possible. Well, you know what here, why If they can get over and score here, kick the conversion, you know, they've been totally outplayed, maybe arguably in these first 20 minutes, but they'll only be two points behind. <laughs> so this is a big opportunity for the Dragons here. Their tails will be up. They'll be keen and hungry here. Keen to put some pressure on the Nui team and their defensive line. It's a nice shift to the wall. It's gone backwards. They've lost 20 metres. Oh, Suta, that was a good little recovery from him, though, wasn't it? And unfortunately, the diminutive winger has been thrown into touch by yeah. some pretty keen defence. Yeah. However, it's yeah. going to be the ruling here. Yeah, they've got numbers there. I think they might have just dragged them out as the tackle was completed already. Duan Chung is the left winger. I did. I was standing up on that left wing as well. It's a giant of a man. Well, they've, uh, they've ruled that, that, uh, that he was dragged into touch and the tackle was completed prior to that happening. Charlie Onodera getting close again. He's of Japanese and Tongan heritage. So the dragon stalk. Battering away here, but that's good D from Nui. Some good tackling coming in there. Mararoa. Here's the little kick for the winger, but it's been overcooked and not much the Asian Dragons could do about that. Uh, a little bit early, really, in the tackle count. It was, uh, I mean, the, the idea was there. Just the execution, really. There was space up there. We see... Wow, Naitoko. Oh, well, he's running. He put his wrist on the line there, yes. And they're talking, getting a little excited. We know he's got plenty of gas. Why? Yeah, he was away. The big man on the dead was out there. He was never going to chase him down. Just a little close to the touch line. And maybe a, a little fortunate. 
Asian Dragons not to concede a penalty there. And I talk will be disappointed because what's this? Uh, this uh, gives the Dragons is another opportunity to come through here and get a full set inside Nui's half. Two tries in the game so far to Parsini and Williams. Good to see a few Nui fans in the stands here at Mount Smart number two. Some good post contact meters on that run. Here comes Morrison. It's a good workmanlike player. And now Takuda. So City waits that dummy half. See if they can get something a bit more fluent together this time. Mararoa. Katsuta. She's going to take the tackle. The fullback. Nice running onto the ball from Mararoa on that occasion. But he's well looked after that player. Some good tackling again from Nui. Last play now for them. Mararoa with the well-weighted kick. That's better. And Nui uh, got the ball just inside the, the field of play. But that was a good kick on the last tackle wide. Yeah, good pressure. Really good pressure. We need to aim up here in defence. Wow, with the towel has gone straight through. And they talk with Tommy Half. Look at him. He's keen to get going again, the winger. Dukes Kalhiva at Tommy Half. He's going to feed the winger. Pongi off for four. Good tackle. Stopped in his tracks by our man Morrison again. Kalhiva. Light speed not so good. What a carry here. Excellent. From Lafayette. They've got a massive roll on here, Nui. Takuda comes up to make the tackle on Patuki Case. The rangy back row, but no one wants to put him down. Gets the offload away. There's the kick. A little messy in the end there from Nui. Yeah, Nui is sort of in a, one of those rare situations where there's almost too many gaps. There's only almost too many opportunities throughout the. The, uh, the Asian Dragons defense and so coming up with the right option at times is, is sometimes it looks a little bit chaotic yeah the kick there I think uh, Wang Chung was going to go over and grab mark the space anyway whoa that looked nasty but in the end it was just a jersey grab Wang Chung the diminutive winger now Bill Chu with that carry And Takuda, oh, he's got an engine on him, hasn't he? How many carries has he had in the game already? Plenty. So City, a dummy half, Morrison again. A good line speed here from New Air. And they slow the ruck down nicely too, don't they? And there's the pressure. Unfortunately, Mararoa has dropped the ball. That's unfortunate. Kohiva's got the ball. Dangerous broken field runner. There's Dukes Kohiva. And into dummy half. Goes Tonga for four. And now Passini off his wing. Ten metres out. Williams, Timor Williams has got it now. Try line's right there. And going close and scoring is Venusio Tangi Fautawa Patuki Case. Good try by the Sydney Roosters back rower. It's, it's SG Ball player been playing some jersey flick earlier this year as well. And there's the third try for Nui. They lead 12 0. Yeah, great pace. It's off the back of it, there's a little bit of rain starting to fall here. Mount Smart number two. This is where the error came from for the Asian Dragons. But in the end, just yeah, too much, too much pace, too much momentum, too much power. You went. The play the ball speed at the moment is, is killing the Asian Dragons. So another player that's uh, come back from Australia. Repeating those other players, Utatao, the fullback. We also have a guy on the bench, Junior Fasatua Papani, who's been playing in Cairns this year. 
And Marco Talangi, number eight for New Air. He's had two games for the Cronulla Sharks jersey flag side this season. So Dukes Kalhiva is going to take over the goal-kicking responsibilities. Now, Kalhiva, a good player. Ex Auckland under 18 player, under 20s player as well. He's still only 21, and he's had just to finish the second season playing for Maris Saints in the Fox Memorial this season. From memory, I think Kalhiva made our tournament team this year in the under-20s comp as well. Very influential figure for Akarana earlier on in the year. Talk him up, he misses the goal. 12 points to nil. He's 0 from 3. <laughs> <laughs> but there's the try scorer, Patuki Case. Earlier pass in here and Mike Williams. Yes, sir, Tangi Is his first name? Yes, sir, Tangi Yes, great first name, and he, I tell you what, his run, and let's see, he pushed off quite a few players here. Well, just two in the end. Maybe it was an early run, which I'm getting confused with, but a pretty simple score there for Patuki Case. Don't forget, after this game, we've got the opening match of the NZRL Premiership for 2022. Kansi's Monaco up against Akarana. Great to see them back in the competition this year after COVID wiped them out last year. And here's Pailiki again, the captain of the Nui team. Putting in a good stint. Oh, that's a good run, isn't it? Yeah, just the half breaks, getting the body through the line. This is the Asian Dragons backpedaling the whole time. Here's Brian Palalangi. Just a little knock on there. Yeah, a little knock on from the interchange player. Brian Palalangi, Mangari East Hawks player this year. So Asian Dragons are going to get a scrum pretty much on halfway. Once again, you know, the, you're right. The, the New Orleans side has been dominant throughout this entire first half, but there's some very capable players in the Asian Dragon side. Found. He managed to get a little bit more position and territory that put some points on the board. You know, the only two tries down at the moment. This is a good initial contact from Timor Williams. And so City will try again. Andrew Morrison's taken a spot on the interchange. So he's off the field at the moment after a really good first 20 minutes, 30 minutes. The captain is still out there, though. Here he is, Koki Takuda. He's been one of their best so far in the first half. Pass goes to ground, but it's picked up. And this is a better shift of the ball by the Dragons. Chion Kitty doing well to stay in the field of play. Zapi Chat Duang Chang plays dummy half. And here's Letty on the data. Both these on the data boys playing at Kumu in rugby union earlier this year. And that pass not finding hand, that's unfortunate. Had a bit more of a bit more momentum in that set there, White. A little bit more structure in the set there. I'd love to see those big boys on the data get a bit of a wind up. I think Charlie on the left hand side is playing at centre. see if he can, they can bring him into the game. There's Nuet. We've looked very good all game. And here's Mike Williams again, proving very difficult to tackle. Timo Williams up towards the halfway line. So Johnny Proctor is on now, wearing 17 from, for Nui. Former New Zealand underage player. Kauhiva at dummy half. Great ball. That's a lovely ball. Pass in. He got a big blow on here. Look out. Awesome. Oh, good tackling. Courageous tackle from Katsuta. But here comes the try. Too quick from dummy half is Raven Tonga for four from the Monaco Magpies. And there is the fourth try for Nui. It's 16 to nil. Set up really well with that short side play. 
Nice ball out to the winger. And really just a quick play of the ball. The Dragons not able to hold him down for long enough. And we'll see it again. This is a great pass. Numbers on that short side. Eight meters out. Just nice quick play of the ball. This is a this is the setup play once again. Fullback comes into play there. With the doll. Pass in. He loves the the contact and then just a straight run over here for Tongia for four. That defensive line was fractured. So and he goes to score the try. So both centers have got a try in the game now for Nui. Kohiva is uh, going to have his second attempt of the day after Mifatao missed those first two. And he's killed that one around nicely. So 18 2 0. Looking good on the scoreboard with seven minutes to play until half time. Uh, good to see the Age Dragon still smiling, still keen to give it a crack. Rain just getting a little heavier. Two, just to uh, bring a new element into the game as well. Is Pailiki still out there? He's not. So someone else is going to take this carry. Good kick off to Passini. He just had to readjust himself. And here comes Palalangi again. Tiao at dummy half. Another interchange player for New Air. So co-coaches Bernie Peranara and Ben Nisipa. Rotating their team around quite nicely at the moment. Dummy half again, nicely running onto the ball there. There's a charging run, a beautiful run that time. Fast play the ball. Nuet looking good on that right flank again. That run was from Lafaele. Every time he's touched the ball, he's looked fantastic. And courageous take from Duang Chung there, who's comfortably the smallest player on the field. He was <laughs> some big yellow jerseys coming at him there, why? Yes, indeed, yeah. <laughs> he just had to sit down and watch that ball into his arms and Hope he didn't get too hurt. Tanu Vasa. Now, Bill Chu. Oops, Messi played the ball, and the referee, referee Elliot, not happy with the way Nuet completed their tackle. Yeah, pretty fortunate there. Yes. Nice and Dragons, but I, they were all over him while he was trying to play the ball, so probably warranted. Malaysia Dragons had a couple of opportunities. See Morrison there in the headband. Really good stint from him in the first period on the field. And now we have Charlie Onadera with the first carry for the Dragons. And here comes Letty Onadera. Great run. Oh, fantastic. Great leg speed for a big fella. Yeah, that's what they were looking for. Good ruck speed here to keep the momentum going here as we see a little dart from Sai City. He's dropped the ball, unfortunate there for the Dragons. And Nui have it. Great run there from Onodera. But Nui have survived. And look out, here comes Mike Williams again. Naitoko at dummy half. And a high tackle there. The Wang Chan not afraid of mixing it up. Yeah, nothing too much in that one. Yeah, Matoko nothing. not impressed though, was he? I didn't think there was anything. It's just a little bit lazy. There's the high tackle, and I think that's probably what Naitoku didn't appreciate. 
but up he chant Duang Chan just getting stuck in yeah, I think not, uh, the, not the biggest man don't know if you're a lip reader why but I'm pretty sure the referee is just saying hey just tell him just to uh, not react yeah. like that that's not really necessary <laughs> you're twice his size <laughs> <laughs> take it easy on him exactly so a penalty for the high tackle here he is Duang Chan Nice mixing it up. And here's Williams again. What a fantastic game he's having, Mike Williams. He's still got those legs pumping. Fantastic run. He must have run for 150 metres already, I reckon. Mike Williams. Yeah, easy. Here come Nguyen. Nice little shift back on the inside to Patuki Case. Nguyen would love one more try before half time with three minutes to go. Nice shape out of the left. Koheva, just a stone-cold drop of the ball there. But referee Elliott said it's gone backwards. So it's play on. And now he's picked up a little error at the play the ball. Uh, probably justified because the first one was definitely a knock-on as well. Yeah, most definitely. And there's the untidy play the ball from Johnny Proctor. West Tigers SG ball player 2021. Warriors SG ball player in 2020. Where's this rain coming from? All I see around the, the ground wise, pretty much blue sky and, and high cloud. Yes, it did, but yeah, that's got a little bit heavy here. Fishing's making things just a little bit difficult for both of these sides. Good tackle from Kalhiva. It's on the Bill Chu, the centre. He's actually playing on the wing in this game despite wearing three. It's a city at dummy half and Rucks be too slow there at that time. Yeah, just a little bit too much in there. They're trying to slow them down as much as possible. To help the Asian Dragons get themselves out of a bit of trouble. Get themselves into a of an attacking structural set. Let's see if they can get some cooking here with right with half time approaching now. Mr. Kudo, I think he's played the whole first half. Not bad for a front rower in, in this game. And he's still running running hard as hard now as he was at the start of the game too. Here's Shun Nuria playing at centre in this game. So City, Mararoa just getting a little bit mixed up there with his teammates, so all the momentum lost for Katsuta. Yeah, that quickly was Williams, a little knock-on as well. That's great pressure by the vice-captain from flying over the line just to try and shut that play down. Tato Katsuta, unfortunate for him. Going good for this new air team now. Pailiki Williams on the bench now. After good first stints in this game. It's going to be Chavez. What? He could too late to feed the scrum and away goes the winger. Thank oh, you. what a great pass. And second try coming up here for Patuki Case. Really good burst by Utatau to set that up. It's 22 to nil. Yeah, fantastic ball up to Vinicio Tony Fatawa. Yeah, just before half time, this is a great little set up here. A little trick play here just off to the back so they, they realized that there was only one person out that side that's a great ball marginally forward <laughs> <laughs> but yeah could have offloaded there back on the inside but had the power to break through that tackle and cross over for his second in the first half yeah, so there he is second uh, try for him double in the first half for Vinicio Vinicio Tangi for Tawa Patuki Case. So another change in goal kicker now. After Kohiva 
got the that one before. He's uh, been replaced, and I think Anthony Notoko is uh, going to go out and, and have a crack here. He's going to line this one up. And this will end the first half, which has been a very good one for Nui. And he's kicked that one nicely. Excellent goal there from Anthony Naitoko. And that ends the first half, which is Nui comfortably in front by 24 points to nil. Right, here we go with the second half here of New Asian Dragons team. And it's 24 points to nil in this game at Mount Smart number two. And this is the curtain raiser to the start of the NZRL Premiership for 2022, which will feature the two Auckland teams going out at this afternoon. It should be a terrific contest between Akarana and Counties Monaco. Looking forward to seeing those two teams back in the NZRL Premiership after COVID pretty much wrecked the last two seasons. So Asian Dragons. Caught away gamely in this first half. Let's see what impact they can make in the second half. That's a good start as well from the Asian yeah. Dragons over oh. halfway there. The Here he is again. This is Leti Onodera again. Second huge run of the game. Give that man the ball. Ladaris, see if they can really cook things up here. Mafa King King, Brown, and now here comes Kasuta again. The fullback, last play now. Mararoa with this crossfield kick. Bad kick. And that's gone forward there, I reckon, off Naitoko. Oh, I reckon too. Yes. Elliot, referee Elliot says play on. Get on. Unlucky there, the Asian Dragons, as we see. Nice little ball. Oh, pass in it. It's a good way to get yourself out of your danger area. But yeah, no, very unfortunate. The Asian Dragons, it was once again, with your Madeira. It was probably their most instructive run up by far throughout this game. Hasn't he? Oh, Glad to see his brother get the ball as well. Yeah, great late offload to pass in there from Johnny Proctor. He's finished off Passini. 15 metres inside his own half. Chu slow to get off him. See what Nuek can cook up here with the spread of the ball. Looking dangerous. Williams just can't quite grab it. Well, if he grabbed that one, that could have been really interesting. And he's kept inside the field of play there. And here comes Onadera again. Taken down by Williams. Here comes Charlie on Adera. And the dummy half goes Odyssey Ladiris. Takuda shifting the ball this time. And now Yuaki. Keeping it on the open side. See if Takuda can cook something up here. And now we're out to Mafa King Brown. Taken 12 metres out. Maria absolutely smashed. Still tackles up their sleeve here, though, for the Dragons. Mararoa to the line. And now Morrison. He's back out there now. In fact, there's Luwaki. Now he's a chance on this left. Line speed a little bit slow there from yeah. the defensive set. And the try in the corner. No. Oh. Tachi's put his flag up. <laughs> Oh, oh man, and boy, did he deserve that try on Adira. That's hard luck. I was talking Daniel Caddy up in the first half. Yeah. That's a terrible call. <laughs> <laughs> Look, watch watch his left foot. Why? Yeah, watch his nice, left foot. Nice. Good little ball. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, unfortunately, he had his toenail on the line. Oh, just giving it to him. Yeah. Just give it to him. Our touch, He's touch. not one of those athletic wingers who was going to dive with uh, one hand and be flying through the air, was he? Yeah, good deep. Crazy thing is, he actually is playing on the wing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's, there's, there's AJ Morrison once again, just like the referee as Anthony Allard had, had called Howard. And the big boy, the boys hadn't recognized it, so kept driving him back. Yeah, I think those two, one of the other boys, obviously rugby converts is up. That's it. You can tell them they're not, they're not, Front rowers. They're not too excited about getting back on side 10 metres. <laughs> what are you saying? Is that the main difference between league and rugby players? <laughs> I, I suppose especially when you're playing around the middle. Yeah. yeah. When, you, when, you, when you're rugby prop forwards and you don't have to travel too far, it makes a hell of a difference. Yeah, running backwards is a pretty key skill in rugby league, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe not so much in rugby as Kalhiva. Shifts it to Tiao. So Tonga, or rather Neo Nui, back into the Asian Dragons half. Nui looking good to unleash Williams again, who's been wreaking havoc all game. So strong. He's Ten metres out pretty much here. Naitoko at dummy half. Short little ball, and there's a lovely try scored. Hang on, it's forward. So no try being scored there by Fasito Papani. Hard luck for him. She doesn't look good. She's drifted across the fit, yeah, but definitely forward. Yeah, hit, the, hit the hole really well. Yeah, here he is, Fasito Papani. Playing, been playing up in the Cairns competition this season after playing for Halwick in the Fox Memorial last year. Moving to Cairns this season. The shaggy haired player. Cairns, Howard, pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much. Same weather, eh? <laughs> so the Asian Dragons coming out again here. Oh, oh. It's a big line speed coming there. Could have put a shot on there. The Asian Dragons. Again, tough D coming in on Noria. By his opposite number, Johnny Proctor. Again, big tackling in midfield and Fasi Papani. Wailiki waits on the sideline, the captain for Nui. And they're making good tackles again for the Nui team as Tiao Patuki Case. Yeah. Wonderful leg drive, yes. Goes to kick from Mararoa. Mitatao's taking that one nicely. It's good momentum bringing the ball back here for Nui. Yeah, no, strong. Good. Close to the ground. There's no disrespect on the man. It reminds me of a Matty Utai. Oh, yeah. Matty Utai. Terrible to try and tackle. There's a few around like that. There you go, Mike Williams again. There's Williams again. Oh, he's a tough character, isn't he? Uh, doing just enough to tip him up was Katsuta. But Williams having a great game for New Air. Here's Naitoko. He's tackled 10 metres out. That's about, about four or five line breaks now, Mike Williams. Nice play. And going in to score the try for New Air. Is Chavez Watts Ikatule. Another try for Nui, their sixth of the game. They lead 28 to nil. Yeah, game plan so far for Nui. Just wait for Mike Williams to make a break. Yeah. And then whoever's next in, in line will score a try. And once again, yeah, just Williams with that break. It, he must have run about 300 meters by now. A couple of line breaks, half breaks, good offloads. Yeah, that was a good pass over to Watsikitule from Fasatua Papani. He's starting to find some rhythm as well, New Orleans. Now that first 30 minutes would have been a little bit raw for all of them. Good enthusiasm. Just 
I'm sure uh, I'm sure coaches uh, Bernie Perinara and Tala Masipa, that's Ben, ben Masipa, who are pretty happy with their defensive efforts so far. I know that their goal would be to try and keep these Asian Dragons to, to zero. Yeah, well, so far they're doing that pretty well. Now Dukes Kohiva back with the kicking duties for this one. And not to be for him. So 28 points to nil. Another look at the try here. Just a sh simple shift out to the right. And there's the confusion created by Fasitoa Papani. And a simple score for Tiara Two Roosters player this year. What's Ikatule? Roosters were hot early on in the, uh, in the uh, Fox Memorial early on, early on in the season. Ran out of gas a little bit. Beaten in the quarterfinals. It's a one game earlier on in the year. Why were they played with Tahu? Both teams were unbeaten at that stage of the season. Uh, the other two played really well, and I thought this has a championship winning team written all over it. Yeah. Not to be, though, at the end of the season. It's full of uh, championship players, that's for sure. This year. Of we're getting most of those. Fox Memorial best players playing in the Akarana team later today. And they play Kanti's Monaco. With the Akarana team pretty much full of Hoichev and Glenora players. And played that wonderful final on the number one ground here. Jason to the pitch we're on here at Mount Smart number two. So New Air working away. Ten minutes into the second half. Really like the impact that Fasatoa Papani's made off the bench. He looks like he's slotting into the halves and he's lived and played all his life there. Why? Yeah. Looking good. We'll just have a stop and play here as the captain for the Asian Dragons, actually. The workhorse. The Kuda. Suffering with something in the background. Yeah, one of uh, several players of Japanese heritage in this team. He's worked his hardest out here as, as well today. Did the line speed most of the time. He's always there for some tough carries. So he's played the role of, of a leader out here amongst his Asian Dragon squad. Well, hopefully he's okay. Seven players of Japanese heritage in this Asian Dragons team. Be a shame if he can't come back on because he's been playing with a lot of heart in the Asian Dragons team. Looks like he's done something to his left shoulder there. This is the break earlier wow. from Letty Onodera. Big man, look at all their drive. He's actually pretty quick for a prop as well. Fantastic horsey on the back of his head. Absolutely. Here's the kick. Tough tackle. No one's back there. Look the out. race. I seen it. <laughs> he had a size mismatch. <laughs> it was. It really Speak. was. <laughs> Duan Chung. Not much he can do there. The minute of winger, but go back and force the ball. But he's tough. And he's already been penalised for a high shot in this game. Tell you what, I wouldn't mess with him. Yeah. Indeed. Passing is a good player. So line drop out here for the Dragons. It's Manoroa. Just pick out Kohiva. And here comes Pailiki, who's tipped up. He's okay, the captain. Back on the inside run comes Lafaeli for the Asian Dragons. Good player. He's been playing well in this game. Here's Johnny Proctor. Ten metres out. Kohiva. Chavez Tule. Oh, takes under a high one there from Charlie Onderera. And did he crab over and score? I reckon he did. He wasn't held. Second try for Chavez Watsi Katule. Well, I think he was playing a little bit under advantage here anyway. He got a bit of a high shot, but just wriggled his way out of tackles and 
keep his legs pumping. Yeah, he's right there. I, I thought maybe potentially somebody had a hold of his leg. Charlie almost did it, but he didn't. He let go. And Erika Tule was able to once again use his momentum to dive over the line and cross for another one for Newet. So seventh try now for for New Air. And they really stretch out to a very comfortable lead in this game. And uh, Anthony Naitoko. Back with the kicking duty. So they're uh, mixing up their goal kicking responsibilities today. Three different kickers used by New Air in the game so far. Two tries for Watsi Kutule, two for Patuki Case. Other try scorers, Parsini, Mike Williams, and Tony Fafua. So no talk all. Now that's two from two for him in the game. 34-2-0 in this special game of rugby league here at Mount Smart number two as we see what's Ikatule dive over to score that uh, second try for himself. Don't forget at one o'clock. We will have our second game today between counties Manukau and Akarana. Always a great game as we see the Akarana team warming up out the back for that contest to start the NZRL Premiership for 2022. And here's Williams again. Look at that. He's busted. Busting tackles again for fun. Great run by Williams. He ran that hard. He busted up both of his boots. Yeah. Not one boot, ah. both boots. Tell you what, that new air player was going backwards. Tempted intercept. Naitoko's putting a step on here. Anthony Naitoko. Oh, yes. That's more like it from him. The exciting winger. Goes in to score arguably the best try of the game. Superb done. Superbly done by Naitoko. Yeah, once again. Set up by our vice captain Mike Williams, but you're right. Yeah, good little offload and a shift down the right side to Naitoko. It was a great ball out to the winger. And as soon as he got it, he had the momentum, he had the pace. Great footwork. Nobody else could keep up with him. Well, he's another player new to rugby league. He's only just finished his second season in the sport, and uh, he. Um, Remember the backstory to him? He just showed up at the Auckland Under 20s trial, open trial at the start of last year for the Under 20s competition, and they were so impressed with him, they picked him straight in to one of the teams. And that's where we first looked at him. Why? In last year's NZRL 20s competition, and here he is today playing for Nui in this game after getting a couple of seasons under his belt at Wotahu. Definitely got the size and the power, the skill. Make a name for himself in rugby league. He looks an ideal build for a winger, doesn't he? And pace and strength. And now he's got goal kicking skills as well. going to slide in as well so three from three on the day for him now 40 points to nil good step off the right foot back inside leaving Katsuta with not much chance there it yeah, felt good for Naitoko that try Taking their time here. 
There's a dragon to his seat. Oh, no. He's going to dead up. Got to get him back, get, get him back on, mate. And the best player so far, for sure. You see big Charlie, he's taking his time. Oh. Just oh. overcooked the kickoff, mate. Back to the halfway for new position. Mararoa, unfortunately, was judged to by about six inches there. It was just the execution, I think the, the idea was right. So we're going to get a full set here. About 30 out. Based on what we've seen so far in this game, they're going to be hard to hold out in this set. Great charge into the line by Patuki Case. Yes, he played the ball. And Italy has been awarded to Nui. Yeah, well, he won that contest. And unfortunately, the boys just trying to get back to market all over him. He winds up again. Here's the Cronulla Sharks jersey fig player this year. Marco Talangi taking that carry. Paialiki, the other front rower. Timo Williams back out there now to end the game with 22 minutes to play. And there's the error. And Morrison's picked up the ball for the Asian Dragons. There's a flat ball right at right the line, right the, uh, right in the face of the, the, the D line. So we see Asian Dragons. Got a penalty here offside, New Ant. Bit of a leaving pressure off the Dragon side. And they make a 20 meter touch finder, so let's see how they go. Throw themselves into the line again. Takamasa with that first carry. Here's Charlie on the door. No good news is, is Letty on Adera is back out there. And the ball's heading towards him, but in the end taking the tackle is Shun Nuria. Here's Charlie on Adera again. Big lad. Ladaris. Pass. Good strong carry from Liwaki. Chu at dummy half. Here's the kick from Mararoa. Flat kick comfortably taken by Uta Tao. And Passini is going to start the set about 12 out. Yeah, he kicked it straight to him in the end. Full backs are no real opportunity to put any pressure on you through that kick as we see. The rule, rule is going to be here, knock on both ways. So a little position here for Asian Dragons. So you see you. Uh, Charlie sitting down now. Charlie's out of date. I've been watching him throughout this, this match. He hasn't moved too fast or too far. Been solid. Yeah. Good crowd in. In terms of frame. Yep. <laughs> 20 minutes to play in this game. Let's see what the Asian Dragons can cook up here. Mararoa, good tackle coming in from Timor Williams. A little dart from dummy half from Ladaris. Mararoa from dummy half. Nice hands here from Yuaki. Good robust run that time. By that. Mararoa. Yeah, just give it to the big man. Yeah, Leti on the on the Dera, but they looked after him pretty well that time, the new air defense. Asian Dragons as close as they've been to scoring a try in this game right here. Still not there. Late offload might create some space out wide. Oh, Takamasa spun out of that movement. Last play now for the Dragons. Mararoa. 
Oh. And Mafeking King can't quite get it through. <laughs> Mafeking Brown, it unfortunately. Yeah, just hands. Broke down. Hands would have got him there. Nice little quick pass right here. Oh. And it's only just forward, really, wasn't it? <laughs> and here is Williams again. He's Williams through. Naitoko. Hey, timing, timing of the pass to Naitoko just a little bit off there. Williams, though, creates havoc again. Nice play from Fasato Papani. New Air looking good, moving the ball forward. They are 20 out. Timo Williams. Kohiva. Good play. Arsene going in to score a good try. Very nice try from New Air. One of the best of the game. And it's 44 to nil. Yeah, too strong. Just the carries up the field. Particular Mike Williams. I know we've spoken about him all day, but every time he touches the ball, he breaks the line, breaks some tackles, causes havoc amongst the Asian Dragons D line. The wingers are having a having a party here tonight. That's mark number two. They are indeed. And he gets his second try. Naitoko, who's kicked three from three in the game, is all from uh, wide out, too. He's got another tricky one here, but uh, clearly likes to kick his goal. So the Dragons still working away here. Outclassed. Effort. It's been there wide, but just too much power and pace on the opposition. Yeah, too much. I mean, despite what we said in the beginning of the game, how, how young and inexperienced the new A inside is. Um, you know, a lot of these boys have been playing in some high-level competition. They've been around for, for a while as well. Like you say, 20s competitions, Fox Memorial. Uh, it all adds up. It all adds up. So despite how young they are, they are a, a very big, talented um, side yeah, they, they want to make a bit of a statement as well Natoko's got his goal kicking boots on today hasn't he, that's 4 out of 4 46 to nil. Parsini getting that try reminding you again that at 2 o'clock this afternoon 1 o'clock in fact is the game between Akarana and Kantis Monaco to start the NZRL Premiership and our double header here at Mount Smart number two today. Yeah, always a thrill up between the two Auckland sides. And I uh, should tell you about tomorrow's game too. Canterbury Bulls against Waikato down in Christchurch. We'll have live coverage of that game for you tomorrow as well. Fourteen minutes to go. New Act, can they crack 50? And I guess interest to see if the Dragons can get on the board. Close a couple of times. Oh, that's going to set up okay. Oh. Oh. Bounces Nali. But nicely together as Fasitua Papani. <laughs> Matt Williams not lurking around that play, but... <laughs> so work away to the left. This is a good run. They're on the halfway line already. That's Johnny Proctor. Good, versatile player. Also a very good dummy half as Kohiva kicks early on the in the tackle count. Back goes Katsuta. It's well weighted. That kick, no way. Oh, there's a try. Another try to Pasini. Duang Chang spilling the ball and the easy score there for Pasini. And they've cracked 50. Yeah, the winger and fullback. They just looked at each other. And couldn't decide who was going to pick that ball up. In the end, and it was just a big error there. Katsuta looking at Duang Chang. Duang Chang came back and oh. he couldn't handle it. Hit him in the head. He's had a tough day today. The, the fullback come winger. That's never look good on the replay, do they? <laughs> so passing, he gets a hat trick. 
Great season for the Point Shed Pirates, and he's enjoying his time in the, the yellow jumper of Nui. Well, the kicks are getting harder for Naitoko. He's probably thinking, when am I going to get an easy one? But he's up for the challenge, isn't he? So ten tries they've scored in the game now, Nui. Three of them to Pasini. Two to Watts Ikatule. Two to Patuki Case. All of them getting multiple tries. And then we also have Williams getting a try. Naitoko, who's just missed that goal. And the other try scorer is Tangi Fafua. So 50 points to nil. And Kohiva, you can just see him looking off there. He saw the the space behind the winger and between the fullback and thought you know what I'm going for it. It was an early kick though I think he was just looking to build some pressure down this far end and he turned winger and fullback around hoping to trap them down into this corner but just the error served it up on a dish for Pasani. Yeah, over he went. So the Dragons will try again and Nui look keen to add more points in this contest here comes Williams good tackle this time by Letty Onandera Anuvasa again ruck speed is excellent for you where there's the late offload up beauty Kohiva that float forward play on to the call Pasini He's going in for another one. The big show and go there wide. Yeah, it's a it's a fair mismatch on that side. Quick spread of the ball from Newet. Once again, Mark's not really set. The, they had numbers over that side. See offload and three on one. Or Duang Chang. It was him versus three huge Newans. Yeah, often a big, a good big man will always beat a good small man. <laughs> That's just how it is in sports sometimes. 54 to nil. Arsene, happy days for him. He's got the last three tries that Nui have scored on the trot. Four in the game for him. Still 10 minutes to go as well. I'm saying that, I think he's coming from the field. So. He is, yeah, he's having a breather. Passini. I think four is the limit. You, you only can score four tries and you have to come off after that. It's a new, it's a new way in proverb. Yeah, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> no, talk with the conversion. 56 to nil now. Coming back on. There's Tiao for Nui, but uh, Passini. His day's probably done with four tries. About uh, eight and a half to play. And that rain's gone. Conditions pretty good now for rugby league here at Mount Smart number two. Yeah, just have to be a little bit courageous here. The Asian Dragons, they've got eight and a half minutes to try and ride this one out. This is a time where most people find a, find, find a sneaky little uh -oh. hamstring injury. Here's Kohiva. Vasatoa Papani. His half's partner blew onto that one nicely. Kohiva. Space out on this left flank again if the offload is executed, it is. And here's Naitoko switching wings and he's oh. scored another try. He's Hang on, up. no. Joseph Green, the touchy, says he raised the, the line, so no try. <laughs> Pasini would have scored that 100% <laughs> out there. Oh, man. They... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right at the end there, eh? That's hard luck for Naitoku. He did really well to skip down there without touching the sideline. So the Asian Dragons survive. 
they're just being bullies at the moment. They need to stay away from Dwayne Chang. Here's Takasama. Takamasa, rather. Bill Chu. He plays the ball. Tommy half as Ladaris. It hard as Tomoda. For this Asian Dragons team. Mararua there. Spreading the ball this time. They've got an overlap. Oh, oh great tackle. Timor Williams. Needed to be made too. Did too. The pass. Quick hands required there. Could have been interesting. Takamasa. Mararua. Need a good bounce here, the Dragons. They're taking it nicely as Naitoko. And here's Nui. 12 metres inside their own half. Six and a half to go in this game. Timor Williams. Uh, they're just lining up now. You can see them all just crowded around the ball. Looking for an opportunity to run. Ooh, late offload is going forward, so it's back in the Asian Dragons possession. Ladaris has got it. Wang Chang. Gonna have a little dart from dummy half. <laughs> Morrison picks up the loose ball. Katsuta. Tomoda. Driven backwards. Almost an intercept. In fact, uh, Williams has picked it up. And here he goes, the big fella. Oh. <laughs> Scores the try. Well, he's been best on ground so far by, by far. Mike Williams, the vice captain there. He's been fantastic. Every time he touches the ball, it's been so good. Yeah, Asian Dragons just, just struggling a little bit. You see, it's a good line speed. Williams just breaks out of tackles. And then, just the yeah, unfortunate Brian Chang there just not able to contain the big man. No, because most people wouldn't have been able to that close to the line. Yeah. So another try for Williams. That's his second of the game. 60 points to nil. Shout out to Mike Williams. And owns and runs a, uh, a gym. Just just out a little out of Western Springs. It's called the Hurt Locker. Drive past it most mornings. Oh, yeah. See the boys and girls training up there. And boxing and CrossFit and all sorts. And must be where he gets his. Uh, must be where he gets all his fitness and strength from. Yeah, locker, eh? That's uh, that sounds like a uh, not a place for me. Yeah. <laughs> but I a was, place for you. I was there last Sunday morning Were after you? drinking with the old boys. Oh, oh, no way! That wasn't a gym. I was actually just in a hurt locker. locker. I hear yeah, you. Yeah. Here's no talk. <laughs> talk goes sixty-two to nil. been a very good day for Nui in this game. Yeah, they'll be pleased. And so will the supporters. Obviously, the Nui is very, very proud people. Uh, seen them hucker and celebrate over the last couple of weeks, especially post-Commonwealth, picking up their first meal for the Commonwealth Games. So. Well, let's see if we've got uh, any more scoring in these two teams, well, for the Asian Dragons, a score in them with three minutes to play. And here comes Williams again. And here he is, just an absolute monster today. Tuki Case. Well over the halfway line inside the third tackle. And here's the next player up. It is Fasatoa Papani. Nui lining up plays here again. It's a towel and he scores in the corner. Uh, 
Oh, all the traffic is running down that right side for the Asian Dragons. But really, he's just set up by these powerful runs through the middle. Quick play of the balls, unable to get back on side fast enough. Those Dragons look just sitting in their chair. Great footwork. And just hands out to the winger. Good to tell. It's been good today as well. Really good. Another big, powerful ball runner. And uh, just too big and strong again. Full time pretty much can't, can't come fast enough for the Asian Dragons. So Naitoko will have this conversion attempt. Right from the sidelines, it's going to be a tough conversion attempt for him, but he's been kicking pretty well in this game. Waved away, so 66 to nil. With uh, maybe one more play left in the game. Strong game at full back two. Just the one try for him. And uh, Asian Dragons, tough game for them, to say the least. But uh, just outclassed by a uh, much more powerful and skilled team on the day. That will be the game, in fact, with the Huda sounding. So it's all over here in this game with Nui winning over the Asian Dragons. Really good game for them. Five tries in the first half, eight in the second. And there's the full time score Nui winning this by 66 points to nil.